<coughs> Hello and welcome to Kyala Gram Market. I um, I'll just wait for a couple of minutes before we start in earnest so that you know, we have more people joining in etc. Upendra is here. Hi Upendra. Hi Sharath. Hi Naman. Hi. Uh, we have not seen. We are not seeing audience from one channel. The other channel is live. Now I wonder what's the deal here. Yes, yes, yes. Both channels are live. Okay, so hmm, tough day, very tough day actually. I mean, uh, so yesterday our analysis was defeat approaching the blue line, bullish engulfing on future stars, no rejection, close to resistance. Bank Nifty is on a local high, looking strong with volumes. And we also talked about the put writing. We also talked about PCR being bullish. We said markets look strong. Uh, and if there is a positive close without a reversal signal, expect more bullishness do not short until you see a strong rejection or a reversal candle from the resistance now here is where everything became interesting right uh, so let's get into the action now um, let's do futures uh, let's do futures yeah the problem is now we have sort of a reversal candle forming again rejected from the blue trend line we have a reversal candle the reversal candle is not confirmed because why this is a doji right now doji forming does not mean it will reverse doji forming once only means that it's a pause so if tomorrow's close is below today's bottom then we have the confirmation of a doji so what do we have now we have an uncertainty indecision candle <coughs> a red candle with volume <coughs> so if if today's close was above yesterday's close we had the confirmation of a bullish end for engulfing unfortunately or fortunately depending on whether you are short or long uh, we have a close below yesterday's close. Now this is very confusing, right? Because it's a doji, it doesn't mean that up jake short karo, right? <laughs> because it could be reversal, it could be continuation, it could be anything. But the problem is from the blue trend line there's a clear rejection. So it's not a clear long, right? If you have were long yesterday, ideally you should have been out. And I <clears throat> and I was out. Somebody saying the static in my audio. That's because probably I have. Uh, what's the issue? The static in the audio, right? One second. Now let me just see audio input. What's that? Hold on. Give me one second. What I'll do is I'll just shut off my windows. As in my literal windows. I have windows here which have, you know, wind coming and all. Give me one second. I'll just write me back. Yeah, hopefully that's better, right? I'm guessing it's better. Oh, there's some static still, right? Audio not clear. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to keep my phone away, hoping that that will clear the issue. What static is happening? <coughs> this is very strange. Let me just connect and disconnect again. How is it now? Is it better now or is it worse now? My video froze meanwhile. One second. Audio is okay. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is, I don't know why this happened. Okay, so I just disconnected and connected. Uh, yeah, yeah, we are good in Bangalore. We live in South Bangalore. So, yeah. Uh, uh, no, North, Central, I think, Bellendur, wherever that is, that is pretty bad. I think all the new constructions is pretty bad. I mean, South Bangalore is largely safe. Nothing here. Uh, so, yeah. But very unfortunate. People are not getting water. People are not getting electricity. It's like uh, some of... Uh, yeah, but anyway. So, so now, this is a rejection, right? This is a rejection. And this is a uh, doji candle. So, now it is confusing. It's not clear whether to go long or short. So, let's write that down. Bullish. So today's first thing which is chart is close to the blue trend line, clear rejection, doji candle today, uh, indecision. See, it's easy to look at HGX Nifty and say any indecision, <coughs> it's not indecision, it is <coughs> reversal. <coughs> but 
truth is nobody knew today whether it was long or short at the market close right so that's <coughs> number one <coughs> problem number two is so i removed my power cable also yeah that's better so now the second thing is option chain option chain gives you a very different and it, this is interesting today right so if you looked at the market in the morning it's like a mega bull bearish market right because somebody is selling 17700 calls now if you look at it after that time frame right so let's say from 10:30 to 1:30 or something then it looks like a mega bull market why every call is getting out and you know puts are adding and all but again if you look at uh, the closing of the market right then all the puts go away and the calls are standing in fact if you look at it in multi strike way so today was a difficult market to trade right so today if you made losses please don't be sad <laughs> i mean you will not always get everything right right like there are some days where you make a loss if you are going to try try and make every day a profit making day then probably you'll never have a good system to trade so look at this right you can see today there is a spike in calls initially then there was a spike in uh, this is a spike in calls then there was a decline in calls then there was a spike in puts then this is a sharp decline in puts puts went from sort of like 7 million to 4 million calls went from 8 million to 7 million so net net it was a very you know jazbaat badal gaye types market today not easy to trade at all but net net what it has done is we have an option chain that looks like this so today everybody sold calls and overall 17700 is a massive resistance 17800 is also a resistance pcr has fallen from yesterday's 1.1 to 0.8 so everything looks bad now right so this was a sorry complete jazbaat badalna and uh, 17700 big call away 8.8 bearish now as if this is not enough right this data came after market there's nothing we could have done it during the market but this is what it is if i sold 20000 calls bought 55000 puts net net 76k odd bearish uh, they also sold 1000 crore index futures which is again ulta from yesterday uh, but at least in the last four sessions it's been massively sell so stocks 1000 crores which is so basically options are very bearish very bearish fi data is bearish futures fi stock data is kind of bullish but i don't know if this is a block deal because stock data i don't really believe if this is a block deal it can skew everything but my verdict is this right <coughs> net net so i wouldn't have shorted today <coughs> in the evening in fact i even tweeted about this i actually shorted at 16 so 17677 and covered at 683 points but i should have held that short looking at uh, fi data but we don't have fi data at 330 right so there's nothing we can do about it and yesterday's fi data was positive so um, option chain says based do chart says indecision but that could be based do ya fir upar jao kuch bhi this is a rejection here so chart is indecisive option chain is negative and fi data is negative so everything is negative right so i'll just uh, chart indecisive chart doji uh, option chain negative let me write bearish right uh, and fi data bearish <coughs> risk reward is definitely favoring the short so what i will do tomorrow is i'll <coughs> sell on dips sell on uptick sorry so i don't know if you will get an open tomorrow uh, which uh, so if the open is uh, so let's see what is jx nifty is right not then it helps it anything but as jx nifty is trading <coughs> somewhere near 17600 slight gap down at least looks like that so if tomorrow there's a gap down and you get an uptick <coughs> i would want to short tomorrow right so what will i short i'll either short 17600 calls or short 17700 calls or above so for me now the trade is very clear till that blue trend line breaks i would look to short because there's clear consistent rejection at those levels the only argument i have against shorting here is that nifty is above all moving averages on hourly time frame but hourly moving averages are 
not as strong as daily or weekly moving averages so at least right now looking at the market for me this is more of a risk reward in favor of <coughs> shorts and not in favor of longs right now let's look at bank nifty also <coughs> bank nifty is still dilly dallying with this uh, trend line uh, today it met some rejection at the top right uh, and uh, but there's no volumes today so today's up move happened without any volumes let's also look at bank nifty futures yeah sorry. i'll have to draw everything again let's stick to spot for now uh, yeah so it's not very clear uh, even in futures but there is clear rejection at the top finally let's go to usd nr our favorite asset class of all times <coughs> usd inr actually is a little tricky let's look at basically i took nothing here like this is such a like now i have nothing my entire capital is unused so usd inr let's look at the so actually yesterday i made a mistake i think this is something which you should also look at so if you look at uh, usdnr feud right there are two feuds will come which will come up one is the bcd which is uh, bombay stock exchange derivatives so yesterday we looked at that chart and that chart showed a bearish uh, harami but the point is the chart to look at is not that chart the chart to look at is the nse chart so that was my mistake so <laughs> yesterday three days back there was a bearish engulfing on dollar then there was a red candle then there is a reversal candle slight um, selling again and today it's a so basically it's a very indecisive kind of a formation right there is no follow through selling on this bearish engulfing so I would say that dollar again is favoring risk reward more for um, longs also on the weekly time frame this has formed a uh, bullish <coughs> This is not a hanging man, I would rather call it a, uh, a dragonfly doji or a hammer. It would have been happier if the head was green in color. So dollar also looking a little long but I don't want to take a trade here because Padani dollar is just stuck in a range for a long time. It could be uh, RBI intervening, right? Uh, but we could also do, um, we could also do September, so if you want to play a patient trade on dollar one thing you can do is this right so I'll, I'll just tell you one trade idea on dollar so you can probably do a September cup all spread right and I, I like that trade because tension right very simply put you're doing a good trade if there's no tension basically you can do September end so it gives you enough time uh, 28 September 80 ka call buy 80 half ka call sell risk reward is 2x uh, tw twice the profit you will make as compared to losses and uh, I don't know maybe do some 20 lots 30 lots that, that depends on you right let's say even if you do 25 sorry, sorry so just for you know round numbers sake if you do 100 lots your max loss is only 17k your max profit is 32k this is a decent trade because let's say tomorrow you are wrong right like let's say we get this trade wrong tomorrow itself and dollar falls by let's say 40 paisa right your loss is only 7k right it's a good trade in the sense that if you make a mistake you can get out of this trade without damaging too much right and even if dollar jumps let's say dollar went to 80 half or something day after tomorrow <coughs> then you are making a 13k ka profit and then you can wait it out here till the expiry and then you will make you know 25k the full i mean 25k ni 32k the full amount right i mean yeah so basically a call spread on a dollar is a decent trade simply because uh, there's a lot of time for expiry and you can sit on a long term uh, call spread right and if you're wrong you can immediately get out at minimal profit so net net my view is that Nifty looks a little scary now. Uh, yesterday it looked different. Today data changed, so our view has to change. Bank Nifty also is taking rejection from the trend line. Dollar looks um, a little strong at this point. Uh, option chain is weak. FI data is weak. Chart looks indecisive. 
so net net i would say that um, market is favoring shorts over <coughs> longs as of now right so so that is our read on the market for today we'll see you again tomorrow with the uh, you know calagra market the one day before expiry the big one um, p shinde is saying it's a big day tomorrow it's uh, his birthday hey happy birthday to you man um, so on that note i'll take your leave as usual this is not tips or advice or any of that this is just analysis so that we can all figure out how to manage our risks according to our access cap rate right so on that note i'll take your leave see you again tomorrow thank you guys so much for joining uh, please uh, stay safe and